I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news, I am the bad news. And in this video, we start a makeover on my girlfriend's 2006 Scion TC by painting the spoiler and the mirror caps and then vinyl wrapping the hood, the gas cap, and the trunk handle cover in psychedelic pink vinyl. Aside from having a new project and just bringing some new life into an older car, one of the main reasons that we wanted to do some of this upgrading was because the car had really bad sun damage, especially the hood. The hood was just completely nasty. You see the clear coat damage. Paint's not like terrible, but the clear coat is ruined. But on the mirror caps, it was actually so bad that it was eating up some of the plastic, like some of the actual plastic of the mirror cap was kind of eaten away. Aside from that, one of the mirror caps was missing and it just fallen off and a lot of Scion TCs you'll see will only have one mirror cap. The other mirror cap we got from the junkyard. So in order just to make sure they both matched, we wanted to paint them, make them both nice. Pretty much to start from scratch in the mirror cap department. I'm gonna show you this process pretty much in the order I did it. First, we removed the mirror cap. Now, let's see how many of them I broke. <laughs> and we removed the spoiler. The mirror caps were kind of easy, although I definitely recommend that you have some kind of pry tools, not a metal one so you don't break nothing. These mirror caps are really fragile and the clips on the back of them break super easy. So I'm like not even like prying it yet. I'm literally just getting it in between the gap and then just trying to run it all the way across. So just like in there, just, just like that, you know? Oh, Ooh. that did not sound good. We broke some of the ones on the mirror cap that we were taking from the junkyard, and we broke some of the ones from the mirror cap that was on my girlfriend's car when we were taking them off. No tab, no tab, no tab. So I broke off all the top ones. So like these things break super easy. You gotta be careful and you gotta pull them like straight backwards. So good luck. The next thing we did was remove the spoiler. The spoiler was a trip because we thought that was gonna be something real quick. We'll just go out there with a wrench and just skirt, 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 you know, maybe four bolts and, and it would be done. About to take those out. You know what taking out some bolts looks like. I'm just gonna do it off camera. But that was not the process whatsoever. It's only been nine hours. I ended up having to make several trips to Harbor Freight just to get the right tools. They didn't work, so I tried this and tried that, you know what I mean? So I ended up going back and forth getting different tools. And then I figured just in case, I better get some long handles trying to fix the problem because so you can't actually get to that bolt from this hole the straight one the hole in the trunk and the actual bolt for the spoiler are not lined up <laughs> that's whack so you have to have some kind of angle something or like i don't really know how they did it from the factory damn how did they do that i think what happened is they just did a bad job and that's why I only had two nuts on it in the first place, but that's besides the point. I ended up buying a set of swivel sockets. Hopefully this dude does it. And it didn't even work. So we're gonna try the, uh, the joint here. I was a little concerned, this is still, I just could not get the right angle to get access to the nuts. They were just like in the wrong spot. So I ended up buying some swivel sockets. That didn't work. Some long wrenches, that kind of worked. Basically using a combination of those and some ratchet head wrenches because I knew if I couldn't get the flex heads like through the little hole, I could at least use the long handles to get it like from the side. Even though I can only do it like two clicks at a time, it was the ratcheting wrenches that ended up allowing me to do it. So we're back to the point where we can unscrew this last nut and then uh, take the spoiler off. And the crazy thing is that once I like popped the seal, you know, like the initial tightness of the nut, I stuck it down in there, started loosening it. I was able to do the rest of my fingers. It was just barely on there. Once I got it like initially loose and it just turned like a quick little <laughs> five minute removal into an all day thing. So here it is. It only took us like, I don't know, probably five hours or something like that. I ended up spending like, I don't know, 60, $70 in tools. And then after taking the nuts off, we had to go through the process of actually removing the spoiler from the trunk. I'm 99% sure there's like some really strong adhesive keeping it on, but you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And that thing was on there super solid. The glue they used was meant to never be removed. And I think that's all that's really like actually holding it. I think these were just like a, a safety net. That adhesive does not want to let go. Like it'll hold on really tight. What we ended up doing was basically cutting it. So we would like use the plastic pry tools to separate the trunk from the spoiler as much as we could. And then just try to cut the actual adhesive. I'm using this non-marring tool normally for like the inside to like stab the, the glue. Cause the adhesive turns into like this kind of foam stuff. What's cool is that after I post this video, a whole bunch of people are gonna tell me like the easy ass way to get this off, but it's gonna be like a month after I did the project. Or at least I'll know for next time. Honestly, looking back, we probably should have just left it on the trunk, you know, and just like taped everything off and, and sprayed it in place. After like seeing that it took nine hours to finally get the supplies and do this, yeah, yeah, we probably should have just masked it off.
but we didn't. And uh, hey, what are you gonna do? With the mirror caps and the spoiler removed, we could wash them and get them ready for paint, which meant washing them and then sending them down to be smooth and to remove any of the clear coat that was coming up. There was a lot of sun damage right here, so we had to sand it down quite a bit. The clear coat was basically ruined, so we had to pretty much remove all of it. We used mostly 400 grits to sand down to completely smooth so that the primer would have something to stick to. But for some of the rougher areas, we ended up using 220 just because it needed more attention. So not only was removing the nuts for the spoiler difficult, removing the spoiler from the trunk, you know, because of the adhesive. <laughs> Whoa. And that's why we were filming. <laughs> But removing the actual adhesive itself, that was also difficult. Once we had the spoiler off of the trunk, we had to remove the adhesive from both the spoiler and the trunk. It turns into like this foam, so you can't just like scrape it off. We ended up having to use a brass brush, some goo gone, and a heat gun. That's what you need right there. To try to help loosen it up a little bit. I would be careful with the nylon brush near the heat gun because mine actually started to like heat up and smoke. I don't know, it was, it was a but we got it off, we got it smooth. It's probably not the best method. And if you have like really nice paint that you're trying to maintain, I probably wouldn't use that method because metal on paint, which normally is not something you want to do. And here's the after. It might not be the best method, but it's the one we used and it's the one that got us results. It still took a lot of work though. Once we got it off, we also had to clean it up really good because the goo gone is just this oily, just nonsense, it's not good for paint. You gotta clean up the cleaner once you're done. The painting that we did was pretty standard and I'm sure anybody who's like into paint or like is a painter is gonna see that we probably used the wrong paint, but like, whatever, still looks cool. <laughs> we found a satin pink spray paint that was called Sweet Peat. That was the one we ended up using. We did three coats of the paint, as well as three coats of primer. And then we waited about, uh, I think, 10 to 15 minutes between each coat. While removing one of the mirror caps, we actually broke the clips. I'm being extra careful because I know how delicate these things are, so I don't want to break them. Oh, Ooh. that did not sound good. Something broke. <laughs> God damn it. And before we reinstalled it after painting, I had the genius idea of like putting some Noiko 80 mil on the back of it with the foil removed. And I figured it would help glue it in place. And it kind of did, but it also kind of just made it impossible to come off and it doesn't quite fit right. It sticks out just a little bit, but like it still looks pretty cool. Once the mirror caps and the spoiler were painted, they were ready to be reinstalled. The mirror caps are pretty easy. You just like click them back into place. Again, you gotta be really careful. So they might break when you take them off. They might break when you put it back. The tabs on the back are super brittle. They're not of high quality. <laughs> Terrible design. Terrible design. The spoiler, we ended up going through this whole thing of like buying new washers and new nuts and all that because the spoiler originally only had a bolt here and a bolt here when we took them off. But while I was trying to reinstall the spoiler, I actually ended up finding the other two nuts that were supposed to be there from the factory. One of the fender washers, one of these big dudes, I dropped it inside the trunk in between the skin and like the frame and while i was like trying to fish it out i just happened to look down here and right here is one of the fat ass nuts that they originally used for the spoiler the two that we originally had were pink because we painted them that one's not pink that makes me wonder if the fourth one is somewhere in here and maybe I don't have to use any of these extra washers. So I did all that running around trying to get the right stuff for no reason. But anyway, we found the two correct ones. If you're counting, it's all four spoiler screws that had originally been installed on the spoiler. That's a trip. I went in here looking for the one I dropped and I found the one that they dropped from the factory. What's crazy though is that they didn't just go grab another one. They were just like, all right, fuck it. this spoiler only has two nuts. We got those as tight as we could, again, using the ratchet head wrenches. They're like the only thing I can reach. Because like, it's just super impossible to get in there. If anybody knows, please be my guest and enlighten me because that shit was impossible. Like, I don't know how Scion would expect you to do that. I'm literally just trying to use the, the wrench to get it on there enough to stay on so I can like spin it with my fingers so I can then use the wrench to tighten it. It's such a damn process. Then we take the wrench out and use our fingers to do the old you know. After all the painting stuff was done, we did the vinyl work. My girlfriend found a psychedelic pink vinyl. It has like that rainbow effect, like on the back of a CD. The first piece that we did was actually the biggest piece. It was the hood. Got the hood nice and sanded down. I want to say we started with 600. So this is the stuff we're going to try to get all this sun damaged clear coat off. We were mainly just trying to get the clear coat off in the areas where it was really damaged. We just wanted to get everything smooth so that the vinyl would have something to stick to. So we sanded the whole hood down with 600 just to get it nice and even. We washed it really good with some alcohol and a microfiber and got it ready for vinyl. Oh yeah, you do gotta remove the little washer fluid things. Pretty easy, just like some tabs. 
So you're gonna stick your, your screwdriver through that hole and then you're gonna use it to like hit the bottom. Hopefully when you hit the bottom one with the screwdriver, it'll kind of like squeeze itself out this way a little bit. And then when you hit this side, it'll kind of push it out, you know? The vinyl process was way more difficult than they make it look on YouTube. You know, you watch some of the guys on YouTube who are really good at it and they do it live in front of your face and it looks all nice. That is not what happened here. You get it out of the box, unroll it, cut off the excess and try to lay it down as smooth as possible so that it's as far along in the process as it can be. And also getting it smooth in the middle first. We end up having to like lift it and redo it a couple times because it was pulling to one side or pulling to the other. But in the end, like it all worked out. We got it to look pretty nice. Like the end result, I'm pretty happy with it. Like from my first rap job, I'm not upset. Even though vinyl is not easy, I will say it's simple. Like it's difficult to do, but the process is actually pretty simple. And towards the end, I started to feel like I knew what I was doing, especially when we did the gas cap and the trunk handle cover, because with those, they were both pretty straight pieces. So there wasn't a whole lot of messing up we could do. We also painted the emblem, but that was super simple. We just gave it a few quick sprays. The trunk handle cover is a very common problem with Scion TCs. See how that works? Here's our replacement. If you have a Scion TC or you've even seen a Scion TC, then you already know why we're changing this. They were just really weak from the factory. You'll see these clips or what used to be these clips and they're just really prone to break. Fixing this problem is super common I and mean, you'll see a lot of Scion TCs with this part just like taped up and just kind of really grimy. It was actually a recalled part or at least it was back in 2006. This is like old ass problems I'm talking about. And we got really lucky and the part that we got from the junkyard already had the recall done. This metal piece you see, that's the recall. Which we didn't even realize until we got home and we saw that they were different. It's not on this one. I kind of noticed that by accident, just looking at it. If you had the recall work done, they would basically just put this little metal bracket in the trunk handle. This piece is just so prone to breaking and so bullshit that they put a little metal bracket on it to like strengthen it. It kind of made up for the strength that it lacked from the factory. So we got really lucky and the one that we found at the junkyard already had that work done. So we made sure it was nice and clean and then vinyl wrapped it before we installed it. That installation, a lot easier. Those bolts line up exactly where they're supposed to be. Four nuts on the whole thing and then you can pretty much just pop it out. Super simple, but uh, yeah. If you have a Scion TC and you're going to the junkyard to replace your trunk handle, make sure that it has that metal piece in there. That way you're not just putting the same broken shit back on your car. For the edges of the hood, I'll be honest, I'm still not really confident that I did it right. These corners, like I actually don't know what's the technique for right here. Like I literally don't know what you're supposed to do. It's not all that smooth. There's like places where there's fingers and whatnot. And if you're a vinyl rapper or somebody that's at least better than me at vinyl rapping, maybe you can enlighten me a little bit because I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do, especially on the corners. For most of the edges, I could get it pretty flat. I wasn't exactly sure. I got it pretty clean and like looking at it from the outside, you can't really see anything, but definitely from the underside, it looks like vinyl wrap. I just like rolled it over cut off to try to make it clean and then I'm just gonna heat it and hope it sticks. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to do that part and make it look clean, but we're still working on it. I think for being my first job, I think we did a pretty good job. After we've done a few more, we'll probably have a little better technique, but for right now, everything seems like it's pretty secure. So we'll just have to cruise it and see what happens. A couple people have thought that maybe I do this for a living. My first time ever doing it. Dude, that was pretty sweet. But yeah, look how clean that shit looks. That's that right there. So that was pretty much uh, the vinyl wrapping and painting. And that's like part one of the Scion TC makeover. It doesn't have a name yet. That's why there's no snazzy intro for it just yet. But it'll have an intro pretty soon. I think the next step for this one is uh, the pillars and the quarter panel. Because the pillars and quarter panel are one piece of metal. So most likely that'll be the next thing to get vinyled. Even though that's like <laughs> one of the more difficult things to do. But that's where the damage is. So that's where the fix is going to be applied. I'm pretty sure eventually this whole thing will be psychedelic pink. We'll be doing Doing some more stuff to it sponsored by a junkyard near you that would be dope if we got sponsored by a junkyard anyway though thanks for watching as always i hope you learned something or i hope you were entertained by us learning something making the mistakes along the way that we did like i said it didn't come out perfect but i'm still pretty happy with it i hope you guys are uh, seeing the progress and enjoying it if it was your first one thanks for clicking on it if you're a return viewer obviously 
thank you for coming back. I really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram at the bad news, D-A-B-A-D-N-E-W-Z. It's just a lot faster to post stories. So if you wanna see behind the scenes stuff, and a lot of times you'll see the work like as it's happening, Instagram stories, that's the quickest way. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this one. Make sure you check out the next one where more of this gets done or more of that one back there gets done. Some kind of cool shit happens, I don't know. I'll see the bad news first. Skirt! Yesterday. Bro, her name's Wednesday.